Good evening, Spreaker.com. We're live at Anchor.com, my friends. Worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Rowe here live. We are up and running again. Late night podcast message. Reading the Bible. having uh, Talking about the scriptures in the book of John, my friends. That's right. Worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Rowe here live on the internet radio uh, we are on live at anchor.com, as well as our Spreaker channel. And friends, by the way, we're going to be uploading this directly to iHeartRadio, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, our Facebook page. I'm so excited to be back. I had to take about a week off to try to just regroup and uh, co- get my composure and deal with some strep throat uh, issues. My Woke up, my throat was pretty swollen up and uh, hard to t- talk, and, you know, I stayed my word, hey man, never forget that, but, uh, you know, I had to uh, just uh, get some rest and uh, stay in the word. Now, let's adjust our volume, I don't want to be blasting the out too much, I see we're in the red on the, uh, on our mixer. But uh, I totally appreciate you guys being here. Glad to be back uh, after a few days off. Well, about a week. Uh, but yeah, so we're back on full tilt schedule. Uh, up and running every day again. I'll be back on here tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we got about a 4 o'clock podcast over at Blog Talk Radio. So I'll probably be on a little bit before that, maybe 2.30 or so for about an hour uh, as we uh, just continue our Bible study. Uh, we're looking at the book of John, my friends, uh, continued Bible study, and uh, we're going to be looking at chapter 13 and 14 tonight, friends. Uh, amen. I'm glad to be back on here. We're going to jump right into some scripture, right into our, our, our shout-out list somewhere, if I can find it, my friends. Uh, where would it be? Where would it be, my friends? Amen. Oh, there it is. Well, you know, I'm organized, really, about as organized as I I can be, my friends. You know, the studio's coming along. We're still working on it. Uh, Got a little bit more left in the ceiling, and uh, hopefully uh, before too long, because, hey, we're in the winter already, friends. Already predicting snow here in the next few weeks. So, brace yourselves, friends, because, uh, uh, like I said, the uh, you know we're still here. I- I'm still on. Uh, like I said, just had to step back for a little bit and get uh, my bearings together here and get some podcast notes together and some messages, get the, uh, you know, everything kind of queued up and ready to go. Amen? All right, we're still here. I got the copy. Book of Love, the big book of love, of course, my friends. And I uh, got all the cords, the mixer, the monitors, everything. All the contraptions are set. Ready to go. We're ready to blast the devil double shot tonight, friends. We just came off of Blog Talk Radio a few hours ago, a couple hours ago. Uh, I'll be hitting, uh, of course, you know, I'll be getting uh, over to, uh, what is it, uh, Twitter and Periscope, YouTube Live, and uh Our Facebook page. That's right. We're still on there. We do have a Facebook page. You guys can check that out. So, hey, anyway, appreciate it. Appreciate your time, my friends. Let's get into this message tonight. Bible study tonight. uh, King James Version of uh, the Book of John. Let me get some coffee. You know how we start out, friends. Pastor Rick Rowley here, live, worldwide live ministry podcast, on the air again, my friend. Spreading the good news gospel and glad and humbled to do it, my friends. That's right. Lots of scriptures. I'm going to throw the uh, sinner's prayer of salvation out at you. Where's my... uh, Oh yeah, we got the armor of God. That's right. I forgot about that. We got to give the armor of God, my precious friends. And lots of books. Plus, hey, we're going to be taking a look at the NLT Living Water for those who thirst, my friends, because I know there's a lot of you out there thirsting. And hunger. Hungering. What? Hunger? That's not it. We hunger for the word, right? 
Uh, so I'm going to give you a couple of first steps out of the NLT Living Water for those who thirst. Uh, in the book of uh, Philippians 4, uh, well, we got 3, 4, and 8, and then we got uh, 4, 6, and 7. And I'm going to give you some bullet points and uh, some side notes, my friends. Amen. So, we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, thankful for their gifts, my friends. I think that's what it says. Paul's thanks for their gifts. That's right. That's what we're looking at. And uh, let me take some side notes here. You know you know how it roll, friends. You got your pens, papers, notebook, tablets. Uh you know, the big book of love, that big thing we call the book of love, my friend. I'm glad you guys got it. And to get your get your stuff together, get your notebooks together, your pens, papers, coffee, of course, late night, podcast, my friends. Glad to be back on here. You almost talked myself out of this. Uh, I was getting tired and, you know, started to yawn a little bit. And I was like, you know, I better not do this podcast tonight because, uh, you know, well, I got, I got to go to bed. I don't think so. So, I, you know, I stepped outside the studio, walked around a little bit, and uh, prayed on it. And, well, I ain't going to give the devil any more inroads, friends. You know, he, I've been going through a little bit this week. And, uh, you know, I mean, man, really, the, uh, the what do you call it, the, a bit of the strep throat, uh, you know, that was a little difficult to go through, but, you know. Anyway, friends, uh, but yeah, that devil got into me, and he was like, nah, you don't need to do those, nobody cares, you don't, you're not making any difference, and, uh, almost, uh, almost bought it, but, uh, hey, I took it back and got a refund, because what he's got, I, I don't want, friends, and, uh, I don't, I hope you guys don't either, so, uh, that's why it, uh, so we, we, we power bombed through the devil's lies, my friends, because he's got nothing for us. We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't need it. Uh, it's just that he's just a father of lies. And, you know, uh, he tries to kill, steal, and destroy. And we got the antidote, friends. So why should we even buy what he has to sell? It, ain't, it doesn't make no sense, friends. Uh, so we're not going to do it. That's why, uh, as I'm highlighting my highlights here, getting my notes together, uh, that's why I was like, well, no, I'm better, you know, because I made a promise to God a long time ago, my friends, so, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give in to his lies, my friends, we're just not, oh my gosh, friends, let's stretch out, let's get ready, we're, we're ready, my friends, I know you're ready. I love to do this word, my friends. They got to keep the pressure on the devil because the devil keeps putting the pressure on us, right? That's right. So forget about it, right? As our my friend in New York says, forget about it. That's what he, you tell the devil that. Forget about it. Uh, you got no authority. You got no grip. You got no say. <laughs> That's right. Amen. So we got our coffee, our Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets. We're live. We're ready. Uh, we are in the new studio, my friends. Got the heater cranked up. Got the coffee ready to go. Hot off the griddle. Fresh cooked. And, uh, man, we are ready, friends. Uh, I'm so excited to be back on here. Uh, like I said, we're doing the New Testament, uh, the new series, New Testament Theology, Part 1 and 2, uh, for, uh, well, for, you know, as long as it takes to get through those uh, first two parts. And then we're going to be looking at some uh, books out of the uh, out of the Orthodox Study Bible, my friends, which is really exciting. Uh, the uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the Wisdom of Sirach, and uh, the other book of Baruch. Amen. The uh, secretary uh, to the prophet uh, Jeremiah. So excited about that stuff. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, like I said, friends, we're going to be taking a look at the book of John and the King James Version, chapter 13 and 14, if we get to it. 
But, uh, you know, we got an hour here at Anchor.com, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to open up with prayer. Shall we start off with prayer, my friends? Let's, uh, well, let me get a, let me get some coffee here. Just had a little bit of oatmeal. Oh, man, friends, it's so uh, tasty. <laughs> As we get into our winter months here, the colder nights, it's time to kick up that fire and have some oatmeal. Sit around the radio and listen to God's message, my friends. I'm so excited to be here and uh, humbled to bring you God's uh, message. Because you've got a lot to say, friends. I've, I've got a lot to give you. We're going to give the uh, armor of God here. You know, I always do that. That is a staple. we got to be armored up, my brothers and sisters. Having some church service late night after 11. Anchor and Spreaker, my friends. Got the upgrades taken care of. Uh, well, we better get into it. Let's open up with prayer. Let me get us some coffee here. Amen. All right, where, where do I put my coffee cup? <laughs> Amen. Well, all right and all right and all right. Let's have some church, my friends. I'm excited to be here. Can you tell? Just a little bit excited about preaching the word tonight on the air. Oh my gosh, let's open up with prayer, shall we? Amen. Heavenly Father, I just come to you again uh, as I do this mission, I do your your work. Uh, you know, I just come to you and thank you so much for everything you provided, everything you've given and uh, shown me. As your Holy Spirit is welcome here, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much and I'm glad to do uh, be on this mission, you know, because... Labors, labors are few, but the uh, you know the harvest is harvest is plenty. Uh, labors are few, so I'm glad to take this mission. I'm glad to keep moving forward in this. I'm glad to do the podcast. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just want to lift up my friends that are suffering through depression, anxiety, panics, worry, strife, stress, uh, anger, issues. I want to give them to you, God. I just want to put the put all that at your feet. And, uh, you know, cast it off them, lift it off them, I'll build them up, encourage and strength and hope, uh, God, because you are all of that and more. We've got to rely on you and less of us. And uh, so I want to lift them up right now, encourage them and build them up through the, you know, through the days, through their, through their days, through the week, as they wake up and go to bed. God, I just want to lift them up, encourage them in your light. Uh, God, I just thank you so much. Uh, you know what's in my heart. You know that I'm, I'm doing your work and your will, and the Holy Spirit's always welcome here as I continue your mission and back on track, back on focus on your, on your scriptures, on your word that you've given me. As the Holy Spirit uh, is poured in, into me and, and, and given me all this revelation, insight, knowledge, and uh, God, I just thank you so much. As we get started here tonight uh, again to continue this deep message of your words god i just thank you so much for everything you've instilled in me and given me uh this is a privilege it's not work it's uh, it's a privilege and an honor to carry your word and to continue on as the disciples did as your son christ jesus did i just thank you so much heavenly father uh, thank you so much in uh, jesus name we pray amen Amen, 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 just because we can, because the church says, amen, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, what are you doing? Are you still awake this late at night, my friends? I hope so. <laughs> amen. Well, you know I am, because I, I, you know, I've got a little bit of editing, a little bit of updating and stuff to do. Check the Facebook, uh, Twitter, all the channels. We're live all over the world. Blog Talk Radio is outstanding. Uh, getting more and more souls, many more and more souls all across the globe, all across the worldwide internet. So cool, uh, my friends, and I thank you so much for that. Uh, for all the support uh, that you have shown, and I know, my friends, I missed you too. Uh, I just had to take some time to really just kind of focus on what I need to do and God's God's want me to do. Hey, man, it ain't about me, friends. It's about doing God's will, right? All right, let's get into the shout-out list, friends. If you want to make the list, email me. Let me know. 
I'll put you on the list, friends. <laughs> amen. And amen. All right. All my friends, family, everybody support them at the Facebook, Twitter, and all the social media and the podcast channels and pages. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you so much. Amen. And amen. Well, we got Facebook rolling with Brother Mark over at the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses. Uh, watch your manners over there, behave yourselves, and uh, shake a hand and meet a friend. But like I said, mind your manners. Brother Mark's watching. Amen. Good place to uh, go and, and uh, you know, get talk to some fellow Christians, friends. It's a, a really good site, so. Check it out. Miss Susan, you made the list. Darnold, I appreciate you too so much. Amen. Christina, my good friend, thank you so much at Facebook. Appreciate the support over there too. That is so awesome for the shares and the likes. Miss Laura, my good friend over there at Facebook, appreciate you too, darling. Don't give up. God's got such a great plan for us. He started a great works in us and he continues that. Amen. Miss Sophie, my friend at Miss, uh, well, not Miss, my CBN channel, my page over there. Check it out, friends. Really cool channel. Love it. Yeah, I've been on there for a while. Uh, you got a few minutes to, uh, you know, give a prayer. Say a prayer for somebody. Uh, that's awesome. So there you go, friends. You got to do that. Amen. Amen. I don't forget Miss Timothy Blockwell Ministries at Facebook.com. Spreading the good news gospel, my friends. Check it out. On fire. Amen. Miss Jackie over at uh, my fellow Twitter, Periscope Live, doing the Midnight Scope, Monday through Sunday. Uh, check it out, friends. Talk about uh, on fire for the Lord spreading his gospel. If you need a prayer, we're here too. But uh, Miss Jackie is always available doing the Midnight Scoop. Amen. Love it. All right. My good brother over at iHeartRadio, my fellow iHeartRadio pastor friend, uh, Michael Holcomb over at Bible Days Ministries. Go check it out. He's got a church in Oregon as well, but I've been listening to him for a while. Actually, he was on the East Coast, and uh, God said, go transplant a church. Start a church in Oregon. Good grief. He moved his... Moved his family, drove across the state, and transplanted to church while he was doing the uh, Bible Days Ministry over at iHeartRadio. So I believe he's on Spreaker and a few of the other media channels. It's pretty cool. So go check it out, friends. Uh, 30 minutes of fire. Uh, <laughs> speaking God's truth. Go check it out. Amen. Hey, and our good brother, our good heavy metal pastor, Bob Beeman Ministries at Facebook.com. Check it out. Man, he's got some good revelations in there. I love listening to him. So, uh, there you go. Give him a brother a shout out. Amen. And don't forget, we got our, our good brother, Pastor Craig Day, off the mountain, resting, working on the, the next set of uh, podcast messages and, and testimonies, my friends. So, I'll get him into the studio here eventually, and uh, we'll be podcasting and Getting that message out, amen. Probably once or twice a month, we'll be, you know, doing the studio podcast together and uh, just kind of giving you updates on what's going on. But he's got his pretty much on the same channels. Uh, I set him up on the same ones, and hey, we're gonna be blasting out that message uh, as often as we can. So, yeah, I'm back on schedule tomorrow. Uh, probably about 2 2 30, I'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, Spreaker and Anchor continuing our Bible study, just doing a little bit earlier in the daytime, and then briefly at Facebook.com Live, our ministry page. I'll probably jump on there first for about a half an hour. Uh, and then I'm going to try to hit our Twitter and Periscope channels as well, and uh, maybe do a live YouTube uh, podcast tonight or tomorrow. Hey, man, I had to get my coffee and pop my back a little bit. My gosh, <laughs> friends. Oh, man, now I'm glad to be in the studio. Mike seems to be working. <laughs> and I, I had to throw the boom shan back on there to get some more room on the desk because uh, we're pretty closed in and, you know, until we get our, our regular desk back. But we've got, a, yeah, we've got a good setup. I might be doing some behind-the-scenes 
podcast, my friends. I'll do a live camera uh, while I'm on the air. Have my brother do that for me or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. God, God's got a way. God's got a plan, friends. Amen and amen and still another amen just because we can, right? All right, we better get into this because we've got so much to give. I have so much to share with you, friends. Amen. Well, we're here. I'm going to do the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. I want to get this right off the bat for our time constraint here at Anchor. we got about an hour here with you. Repent and receive Jesus into your hearts, my friends. Say this prayer. Pray this prayer with us. The Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner. Amen. I know I am a sinner. All right, hang on here, friends. I found a glitch. Let's... I know I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and I confess with my mouth, and I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God, and I believe you are the Lord, and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart clean. And live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Amen. Thank you for saving me and for giving me the gift of eternal life. In heaven, with you, amen and amen and amen. Thank you. Amen. All right, friends. So, hey, you said that prayer. Welcome to the family of God. Get a hold of us here. We'll talk to you. We'll pray with you. And uh, share some, <laughs> we'll share some testimonies, have some coffee, eat some cookies, and talk about God. Amen. Oh, there you go. <sighs> oh, my God. friends. Now, Romans 10, 9, 21. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's 10, 17. That's Romans 10, 17. Friends. I just wanted to see if you're still awake. Amen. Uh, so, yeah, let me take a look at this here. We know this one, repentance. Now what happened as he, Jesus, was dining in Levi's house. The many tax collectors and sinners also sat together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. When the scribes and the Pharisees, the bad guys at that time, I uh, saw him eating with the tax collectors and sinners. They said to his disciples, and they asked him a question. Really? You're going to really ask this question? How is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? My gosh, really? Hey, Amen. Hang on here. Just in the mic again. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, and when he heard it, this is what Jesus said to them. And he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I do not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. And Matthew 4.17 reads, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. In Luke 13, 3 and 5, with friends, we see, I believe in Luke 15, 7. Well, this is, we're going to go back to 13, 3 and 5. Without repenting of our sins, we would perish. Amen. <laughs> all right, my friends. We better get into this Bible scripture. Well, first of all, we're going to get into the uh, the total armor of God. Right now, friends, it is time to get into the armor of God. Can you do it? I think so. Amen. I'm glad to do it. Alright, let's go to our Bibles, my friends. Let's go to Ephesians 6, 10, and 20. Hey, you said that prayer. Get a hold of me here. LifeGraceMinistry60 at gmail.com 24-7. That's how we roll in this house of God. Amen. Uh, you guys can get a hold of us here. Leave a message. Get a hold of us on Facebook or Twitter. 
any one of the podcast channels worldwide. And uh, we will contact you. You contact us. We'll send a prayer. You send a prayer. You send a prayer request. And we'll get we'll get on it, friends. Uh, always glad to uh, pray with you, my precious friends. Beloved, are you still here? Well, we better get into the armor of God. Armor of God, my friends. Finally, my brothers and my sisters, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Because you know he's got mighty power in Ephesians 6, 10, and 20 out of the NIV. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against, you know this one, friends, the devil's schemes for our struggle is not, watch this, friends, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. That's right. It is, friends. We just got to remember that verse. 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Amen. There we go. You know it. You're still in the know. After all this time, friends, you're still in the know. Well... Then we go down to, uh, what is it, 13 here? Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand. What do you do next, friends? Well, let's look at uh, 14. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Amen. It is peace, my friends. In addition to all this, you got to take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the fiery darts of the evil one, my friends. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, be alert, be sober. Be vigilant, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given to me, so that I will fearlessly uh, make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. For which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly. Amen. As I should. My friends, you have been armored up, my good friends. Amen. Man, we got so much to give you. I have so much on the plate, my friends. All right. Well, let's backtrack up here a little bit, my friends. I'm going to read, uh, where is it? You know, I was going through this, and I heard so many, like, complaining and whining and stuff. My spirit threw this at me, Jude 1 16, 25, friends. Go there if you will, quick, run to your Bibles, get them out. Come on, friends, get the dust off, get your drinks off the Bible. It's not a coaster, my friends. That is our life. Our bread of life, amen. Uh, in 16, I look at uh, Jude 1 16, 25, my friends. These are grumblers and complainers. Wait a minute. The lights went out on my computer. Oh my gosh. All right. These are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lusts. They mouth great swelling words, flattering people to gain advantage. But here's the message, friends. Watch this. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, How they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own godly, ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons who cause divisions not having the Spirit. What? Really? They don't have the Spirit, my friends. But you do. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God. Amen. 
looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ into eternal life. His promise, friends, right there. And on some have compassion, making a distinction. But others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment, defiled by the flesh. Man. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy to God our Savior who alone is wise be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, I got another one for you. Then we're going to get into our Bible study, friends. Uh, Acts 28, 25, 27. Can you go there for me real quick here, friends? Let's turn to your Bibles. Let's get some scriptures. Having church late night. Isn't this fun, friends? Amen. Being in the Word. So, when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul. And it said one word. The Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah, the prophet to our fathers, saying, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand. And seeing you will see, and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should understand with their hearts, and turn, so I should heal them. And I never know why the Spirit throws these at me. He just does. He says, you got to watch and hear and listen. Uh, Alright, so I'm just uh, perusing through my <laughs> my podcast notes. Because I, I, a lot of the stuff that the Spirit gives me, I have to write down uh, as I get them. Uh, so we're going to go real quick here, friends. Zechariah 6.15. Spirit just nodded me down and said, you better look at this one as I'm flipping through them. Uh, Zechariah 6.15. And those far away from them will come and will build in the house of the Lord. You shall know the Almighty sent me to you, my friends. I know I'm why I'm here and why I'm doing what I'm doing. God has sent me here to you. And this will come to pass if you listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God. <laughs> Amen. Well, there you go, friends. See, uh, that's why I'm here. I was sent directly here to do this podcast to get these scriptures out to you. So, Coffee's on. Bible's ready. We're ready to go, my friends. Let's get into it. Our, let's move over to the microphone here. Hang on. Amen. Well, let's move the pulpit around because, you know, I'm in training. I know that the Spirit... Uh, hang on here, friends. Got the microphone moving around here. Uh, I know the Spirit is is uh, training me. He's got me the getting me the pulpit uh, ready to go because I'm going to be preaching to a many great crowd, and I I feel it. I feel it, friends. I feel it in my bones. I feel the Holy Spirit has gifted me. What I'm doing now on the radio is is really good training, and uh, so it's just a matter of time, friends. God's timing. Amen. Chapter 13, our Bible study. And now, we're going to continue this. Uh, I'm going to try to get to 13 and 14. we got just about a half an hour left on our Anchor channel. But, uh, you know, a little bit more time on our on our other channel. So, we're going to get through this. I'm going to read as much as I can. So, my friends at Anchor, you can listen to the whole podcast tonight. Uh, on our other channels at Spreaker, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google, or uh, well, the YouTube channel, uh, in its entirety. So you can check that out, friends. Amen. All right. Just glad to have some time with you tonight, friends. All right. Chapter 13, Jesus watches, washes the disciples' feet, or his disciples' feet. Amen. King James. Now, before the Feast of the Passover... When Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world into the Father, having loved his own, 
Uh, hang on here, friends. All right. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Now Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he has come from God, and went to God, he riseth from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girded himself. After that, he poureth water into the basin and begin to wash the disciples' feet. Now watch this, friends. This is really good. Of course, all of it's good, but check this out. Amen. All right. Let me get my marker up here. I don't want to lose my spot. So he washed his feet and to wipe them from the towel wherewith he was girded. And cometh he to Simon Peter. And Peter saith unto him, Lord, Dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou wast not know, but thou shalt know hereafter. And Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. And Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Now Jesus saith unto him, he that is washed needeth not to, not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments, it was not set down again. He said unto them, Know ye what? I have done to you. Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, and have that scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I may he, or I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Now, Jesus foretells his betrayal. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified, and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spoke, or spake here. Uh, now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, or is leaning on his bosom, on one of the disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter, therefore, beckoning, or uh, beckoned to him, uh, amen. Hang on. My computers are going out here. Uh, therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. He then lying on Jesus' breast saith unto him, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest, do quickly. Now, no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. For some of them thought, become, or because Judas had the bag, 
that Jesus had said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the Sabbath, went immediately out, and it was night. Now, the New Commandments, my friends. Check this out. Amen. All right. Make sure I'm not too close here. Hang on. Therefore, when he was gone out and out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. Amen. Uh, if God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him, or straightway glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you, ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love uh, one to another. Now, Peter's denial foretold. In 36, Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? And Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. And Peter said unto them, or him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. And Jesus answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The rooster shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Alright, chapter 14, just rolling right along, my friends. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Amen. Jesus, the way to the Father. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Now Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Now Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Amen. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. And Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Now Jesus said unto him, uh, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou, uh, thou, then show us the Father? Well, hello, amen. Kind of like what's going on now. All these miracles, all this stuff that God has got you through, my friends. And you still ask for miracles. You still don't believe uh, God, in God. I, I see it all the time. I In the ministry that I'm doing, uh, well, it's not my ministry, it's God's ministry. Pure and simple. That's, that's the way it is, friends. But uh, I see it, you know. All the miracles, all the things that God has got people through, and they still want to complain about it. Oh, mercy. Man, oh, man. Trust in God, my friends. Amen. Now, show us the Father. So, believest thou that not that I am in the Father and Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, 
or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Man, I love this book, friends. I recommend going Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Check it out. Amen. All right. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Well, there you go, my friends. Precious. Now, the promise of the Holy Spirit. All right. Taking notes, as I usually do here. I, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Amen. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while in the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, you shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. And he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved uh, of my Father. Huh. Amen. Uh, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Now Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hears is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave you, or leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, you would rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you, before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, or it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh. That's the devil. He's here, friends. The devil is here. And hath, he has nothing in me, uh, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandments, even as I do, even so I do, arise, let us go hence. All right, my friends, we are going to stop right there. Chapter 15 and 16. As we take a look at the vine and, and the branches. I love the scripture. Amen. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at. We're, we're going to look. Uh, let's see. We're going to look at 15 and 16. My friends. You know, we're almost there. Listen, we only got, what, uh, 21 chapters here. Uh, and then I 
I, I believe I'm going to pray on this, my friends, but I think what we're going to do, we're going to follow this up. We're going to just stay straight in the books. We're going to go to the book of Acts, my friends. Uh, we have got just a few more left. So we will read tomorrow. We'll do 15 and 16, my friends. And then, because uh, I want to read two at a time here, 17 and 18. Um, and then 2021. That'll work out perfect. Amen. All right. So there you go. We're having a Bible study uh, in the book of John. We will be looking at, my friends, let me get back here. Uh, we're going to be looking at. Tomorrow, my friends, maybe an early show. Maybe I'll get on here early, and we will do chapter 15, my family. Amen. And I get an amen and an amen in the house, my friends. So, there you go. Bible study. Uh, we're good to go, my friends. So, uh, so yeah, tomorrow, stay tuned, because we're going to be hitting up uh, our continued uh, Block Talk Radio. We're going to be looking at the uh, New Testament, uh, new series, New Testament Theology, Part 1 and 2. Uh, we left off uh, just looking at, uh, taking a look at Romans two seventeen twenty nine, 29. Because this knowledge so far from saving him is actually his condemnation. So we're looking at Romans two seventeen twenty nine. 29. Uh, we're looking at the, uh, the universal moral law and the general revelation to all mankind as we continue... Uh, to uh, look at our uh, New Testament theology. Uh, Spirit laid that on me pretty thick and said, this is what I want you to do, my child. I want you to get out there and preach the good news gospel to the folks because they need this word. And everything that has been poured in you and instilled in you and have shown you what you need to do, what you need to share, I, well, I, what am I supposed to do? The Spirit gives me all that information. And all everything I've been taught, and everything I've been shown over the years. Uh, friends, that'd be selfish of me not to share that with you guys. And I appreciate doing it. You know, that devil just wears on you a little bit, once in a while. Uh, you know, but uh, I'm not going to worry about what he has to say. Uh, <laughs> his report, I do not want. I don't know. Maybe I got to go parables with him. Maybe I got to go tell the devil in parables. For he knoweth not what I speak. <laughs> Amen. Well, friends, I'm glad to be on here. Like I said, I appreciate you guys uh, cleaning house on the devil because he's got nothing. I, no way, my friends, ain't going to happen. Uh, all right, well, we're getting ready. Uh, tomorrow, my friends. Now, I may just jump back on here early uh, in the afternoon and, and keep going with our Bible study because, I, I, you know, we're in the book of John looking at 15, 16 tomorrow, winding it down tonight. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, I want to give you this real quick, friends. We can do this. Uh, I'll, I'll do the other one tomorrow. I want to give you this here, friends. In the book of Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippians, not the Philippines, that's a country. I got good friends, great brothers and sisters over there. Amen. NLT Living Water. Prayer helps us overcome worry. Can we do this real, real, real quick here, friends? Uh, look at Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Have you ever been gripped by worry or fear? Worry is a completely unproductive emotion. It is the advance interest we pay on troubles that seldom come. But these verses give us the best antidote for worry. Hang on. Amen. I lost. There's the, there's the mouse. I lost the little computer thing up here. Oh my gosh. I did it do. But these verses give us the best antidote for worry. Prayer, my friends. God wants to be the first one. We turn to in times of worry or crisis. When we do, he promises a special blessing if we do the following four things, friends. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rick Rally here. Late night podcast, Bible study. It is after midnight. 
and we're still on. I'm going to give you a couple of this to close out with at anchor.com. Stop worrying and start praying. And headline one here. Don't ever think that your need is too insignificant for God's attention. He wants us to pray about everything. Number two, uh, tell God your needs. Even though God is all-knowing and is well aware of your situation, He desires that you verbalize your needs to Him and place them in His hands. Number three, Present your request with thanks. Instead of praying in feelings of doubt, we can thank God for His answers in advance. Because of the promises He has made to us in His Word. Amen. Number four, receive God's peace. Once you do these things, verse 7 says that you will experience God's peace. In the original Greek text, this verse literally means that God's peace will mount a guard or garrison around your heart and mind to keep and protect you during these difficult times in your life. The next time you are tempted to worry about something, channel into prayer uh, all of your all of the energy you would have put into worry, say something like, Lord, here's my problem. It looms ever larger in my path, so I am putting it in your hands. Is somebody hearing what the Spirit is saying tonight, friends? I knew there was a message for somebody. Amen. I love bringing it to you. So here it is. Lord, here is my problem that looms ever larger in my path, so I am putting it into your hands. Give it away to him, friends. Give it to him. We're not meant to take all that stuff, so just... Throw it at his feet, my friends. I am not going to worry, Lord. Instead, I am going to trust you. I am even going to thank you in advance for what you will do. Because you know what you are doing. This may not always be an easy thing to do, my friends. But if you want to overcome worry and experience God's peace, it is something you must consciously or consciously do. Well, there you go, friends. A little bit of advice from the NLT, how to find God, the living water for those who thirst, my friends. And I know there's a lot out there, a lot of people out there that uh, do thirst and hunger for the Word of God. And uh, like I said, I, I'm glad to... Uh, I'm glad to get this message out here, friends. So this might be, like I said, it might be just a little short one, uh, a little short podcast. Uh, I really just wanted to get back on here, kind of get in touch and get back to basics here a little bit. Uh, But uh, tomorrow, because like I said, friends, we only got an hour here at Anchor. Well, I mean, we're on a limited time frame over here at uh, our Spreaker channel. But, uh, you know, I wanted to just kind of get on here and uh, utilize the time frame that I have with uh, our Anchor channel to get this message out. It's like on 13 different channels right now. Uh, These podcast messages at Anchor are are really awesome, and I do appreciate that. Uh, But like I said, we might uh, might jump over, you know, split the podcast up a little bit with uh, Spreaker, just do an exclusive podcast. Uh, I was Spreaker and uh, maybe Twitter or something going live on Twitter. Oh, mercy. I'm closing out, my friends. I know it's after midnight. i got to get some uh, rest because uh, we got another busy Friday. Um, and then I'm going to try to get on a little bit earlier tomorrow than uh, usual instead of going uh, so late. Uh, normally I would have been done about two hours ago, but I did almost an hour and a half at Blog Talk Radio. I got started off a little bit late start, uh, later than I expected, kind of later than I wanted, uh, but, uh, you know, that's kind of how things go sometimes. So, there you go, friends. We are closing out. I am so glad to be here. Um, I appreciate you guys. Uh, so much. Uh, I'm going to close out at anchor.com uh, live tomorrow, friends. Stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow 
at Anchor.com. Pastor Crowley here live, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, late night radio, uh, being about my father's business, amen. All right, stay with me, Spreaker. We're going to continue our message, amen. Closing out, Anchor.com. All right, well, we're live October 5th, my friends, 4th and 5th. Uh, we're continuing our podcast here. Uh, I'm just going to upload and get it saved and uh, do the... <laughs> I got so much to do, my friends. Amen. All right. So, my friends, hang on here. We are, uh, well, we're going to continue. We're live here at Spreaker.com, friends. I think we'll just close out with that. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon, uh, later in the afternoon or so. I'll post it. Check out Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I'm going to get this uploaded over to our uh, our channel on uh, YouTube. You guys can check that out. YouTube, Google Hangouts, Twitter, Facebook, uh, iHeartRadio. Uh, this would be like multi-channel uh, listed out, friends. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, yeah, that's it, friends. Glad to be back on here. Full-time schedule now. Uh, we're set. We're ready to go. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Friends, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live at Spreaker.com. Uh, closing out. I'll see you tomorrow. Block Talk Radio. Uh, about 4 o'clock, and then uh, we'll be right back here at Spreaker. And, of course, uh, I'll be doing an early Facebook Live uh, podcast, friends. That's it. I love you. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Spread the word. and Be kind, my friends. I'll see you later. Amen, and thanks for tuning in. Amen. Good night, friends. Amen.